Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 10. Now, I feel a lot better today, I must admit. Uh, the only thing is now I'm all like stuffed up, so I might sound even worse than yesterday. I can't even hear myself, it's so weird. Anyway, today, um, what are we doing? I kind of wanted to dedicate this room over here to the uh, stainless steel stuff. Whatever it's called. The distillation tower, something like that. Distillation tower. So, I don't know how many of these I'm going to need. I, I did do a quick look-see. So if I do this. There you go. So there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five different things. So we might need to make five different distillation towers. And if we click right here, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine different types. Interesting. Now, if it's anything like Greg Tech. Oh, by the way, this is going to be a modern industrialization episode. I think now, now that I think about it, this might take a long time for it to like actually do stuff because uh, this is going to require an absolute butt ton of stainless steel. I was going to try and get like a bunch of bees today because we're running out of like diamonds and stuff. But honestly, we've done a ton of bees recently. And I don't think anyone wants to see more bees, so we're not going to do bees right now. Oh, interesting. Anyway, we're going to try and set up one of these towers. Although, I say that now, this might be a good time for us to get... Haha, this is the thing that I was going to make and I forgot that I needed. Interesting. Okay, yeah, we're going to set up a drilling rig. Now, this does require some stuff. Chain's relatively easy for us to make, right? What the heck is this? Steel ring? No. How many does that need? Sorry. That is 18. Uh, before I do that. Chain. Okay, I don't have any chains already, so that's good. Now, by the looks of it, well, we just need some... Okay, steel plates. I should probably get a steel bee at some point. A lot of people were saying, you need a steel bee. And now I can see why. Okay, go and make us a steel bee, please. Why did that require... I'm very confused by that. That just said it required the ore hammer, but it shouldn't. What the heck just happened there? Okay, I'm going to make 16 more. Or at least we do this. Why are you using that? I don't get why it, it needs the hammer. That's very strange. Anyway, doesn't matter. We got the uh, the steel that we needed right there. So there's the four steel large plates. Oil rig. Okay, that's going to go off and make us all of the bits. Lovely. Right, um, what was the other stuff we needed? We needed... Oh, we need one of these drill bits. 4% chance of consumption. Okay, so this one gets you water, apparently. This one gets you shale oil and that gets you crude oil ah question is right let's put them like these two crude oil gives you sulfuric light fuel heavy fuel and naphtha okay shale gives you helium sulfuric crude oil and naphtha okay what does this one give you Crude oil and sulfuric acid. Interesting. Okay. That means... Wait, so the crude oil is this one, right? That means we don't actually need a crude oil drill, right? Because we can get everything from the shale oil. Flipping heck, though. Look at that recipe. Jeez. Okay, we can, we can make that, I think. What's this over here? Item pipe. Okay, and what is that? That is a stainless steel drill head. Okie dokie. Fair enough. Right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this uh, let this go off and make us the oil drilling rig. Oh yeah, I forgot about the steel. Okay, wait. How many of these does it need? It needs 38. And then it also needs... Okay, 38 plus... Three, so 41, 41 of the steel 
machine casing. And I think I've got that automated. Yeah, there we go. 41 of those, that's going to take flipping ages. And I have no idea why it's using a platinum ore hammer, but it is apparently for steel. We should look into our steel recipe because it shouldn't need to. It's literally just, does lignite coal need it for some reason? I have no idea. Steel dust. Okay, whatevs. Start. That should go off right now. And uh, there we go. Noise. Now, the only issue I've got is the fact that this might fill up. This might fill up with uh, with stuff. And if that's the case, I'm not sure what we do. Uh, I don't think it's going to fill up. I think that's everything already done right there. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, okay, it's on its way. Good, good. So, yeah, I need to wait for that to do its thing. Uh, okay, so we've got two things left on the go right now. The scroll wheel is really weird in this, this area. Not sure why. That one is making some steel rods. Good old rod. And then this one is waiting on... I have no idea what that's waiting on, actually. It's probably waiting for one of the machines that this is, like, taken up by. It's probably this one, right? There we go. Yeah. Um, I've said this in the past. I don't really care about the overclock because we've got the luxury of time. <laughs> Those out there that want to be, like, ridiculously efficient... 100% look into making more of these and making it more efficient by making loads and loads of like compressors and stuff But for me, I don't really care. Like I, I will just leave it Like we've got YouTube magic, right? We could just say and We skip it all and then we're there, right? So that's kind of where where we're at right now So the electric circuits already done large pumps coming in. I think the uh, advanced machine halt is coming in as well I still don't know why this has just stopped. It's very strange. Maybe we just have to wait for this one to be done. Interesting. These things do take, like, a long amount of time, but meh. Maybe it's something to do with um, the electric blast furnace. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm going to be back when all of that has been created. We also need some of these. So I can do that over here. Have I already done this? I actually don't know. Steel. Oh, I already had that. Steel. No, I don't have that. Okie dokie. Put that in. Uh, what was that? I think that was the compressor. Yeah. Wait. Is that a steel plate? That's a silicon. Okay. Maybe we do put steel in this. Steel plates, that might be a thing. Okay, that took a little bit of time right there. Um, but there we go, got ourselves a drill. I did forget that we need the other thing as well. Stainless steel, whatever it's called. This bad boy. Um, Okie dokie, let's program in. It's the first program we have to put in, I think, right? Stick this with the rest. Lonk that there, and now we should be able to just request. Uh, do we do that, or do we just program that in as well? I'm going to program it in. Why not? Save us from actually uh, using up loads of loads of stuff right there. Loads of uh, crafting stuff. Is that what we need? Wait a minute. If I do this, that's what we need right there. Okay, um, so we need iron gears, we also need the item pipes, okie dokie. That looks like more effort than just that, so we're going to do the cheap method. I did get a comment from a few people saying that the, uh, is that steel? Yeah. Uh, the silicon, silicon method that I, I came up with, you know, with the unpacker is, like, really, uh, cheap and cheaty and a lot of them said they loved it so i'm, I'm quite happy about that 
Uh, brilliant. Anyway, uh, what you get four? Uh, that makes me think that you're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna have to plonk that in as a recipe as well. These get used up. It does say on there. Oh wow, you can actually get stuff from here. You get platinum. Okay. Two percent chance of of um, consumption. So we might need a bunch of these. I'm gonna just make the four to begin with. There we go. So I do that. Should make us four. I don't forget it's gonna make oh we're gonna have to get like loads of stainless steel and chromium and everything is kind of a pain right now. Not gonna lie, I wish there was a chromium bee. There's no chromium bee. How annoying is that? Uh there's the fluid though. Oh yeah, we've already done this. Yeah, this is how we're doing it. There's also no way of getting rubies other than doing... Uh, which one is it? This one. Other than centrifuging a bunch of redstone. Luckily, I actually ran out of redstone. I had like 300 last episode. And now, I've got over 5,000 because we've got the witch. Wicked Witch of the West right here. Oh, I missed it. But yeah, there you go. We just got like a bunch of different stuff right there, including a ton of redstone. Love it. Um, I put this right here just for decoration because I thought it looked cool. So this has got like honey bottles and stuff in there. Yeah, um, I'll try not to do much with bees this episode. As I said last episode, I kind of want to make... What's this doing right here? St oh, stainless steel. Nice. Oh, we're also going to make... Um... Oh, poo. I probably should set this to only do one thing at a time. Oh, did I really put this on? Okay, there we go. There you go. That should only do one thing at a time now. That way we won't clog up the machine. I've done that with like every other machine that's here. So if I click on this one, it only does one at a time. Might not be good for this one, thinking about it. Because although this is doing copper now, if it was to do something like bend the plates into these, the curved plates, for example, it would probably... Well, there you go. We've already lost our efficiency. I did say I don't really care about the efficiency, but if we can do it, I might as well. For this one, at least. There you go. That's pretty good. So I was just looking through, and I was like, oh, it's so annoying how we make ethanol right now. We have to use the sugar solution. And it's like a one for a hundred for a millibucket, if you know what I mean. But it uses a load of sugar, which is fine. We've got a ton. Sugar cane. We've got, yeah, nearly 10,000. Our little sugar cane farm that we had, that we built. Oh, come on. Yeah. Right here. It's been doing work. It's absolutely awesome. I wouldn't have known about this, by the way, unless it was for... The dyer, so make sure you go watch all of the, the dyer videos for Just Dyer Things, because I, I say that, I haven't even watched all of them myself yet, but I will do. I'm gonna I'm planning on doing that at some point. There's a load of things that I, uh, I haven't really looked into yet from Just Dyer Things. Every episode, it seems that someone's like, oh, you could do that with Just Dyer Things. <laughs> so I should definitely look into it. A bit more. I got up to the third part of Just Dyer Things. Uh, Dyer's got like a multi-part series. So go, make sure you go look at that. Anyway, what were we doing? Uh, that, that's the reason. So ethanol comes from this sugar solution in the distillery, which is uh, this one right here. My goodness, it takes ages. This one probably could do with an overclocker. This one could, but to be fair, we're going to stop using the sugar solution soon because, do this, there's a way of getting ethanol, I think via ethylene, yeah, sulfuric acid and water, and you can get ethylene via the steam cracked naphtha and steam cracked light fuel. So we need to get a distillation tower up and running, but that's the whole point. We're trying to get that up and running now. So, 
Uh, what was that? Steam, steam cracked. Steam cracked. Light fuel. So light fuel comes from steam cracked heavy fuel. Okie dokie. Or sulfuric light fuel. Wait, what? How do you make this? Heavy fuel. Uh, okay, that's not not what I wanted, was it? It's the light fuel. So light fuel comes from sulfuric light fuel, which comes from crude oil, which we're going to get from our uh, shale oil or whatever it's called. Oh my goodness, I forgot how long this takes now because uh, we are trying to get chromium and chromium takes absolutely ages. It's the same with uh, manganese or magnesium, whatever it is. Manganese, there you go, sorry. I I know I always say magnesium when I see this, but you guys know what I'm on about, right? Surely. I know this says man manganese. I just, in my head, I see an M and an A and a G and I think magnesium. Anyway, doesn't matter. Right, anyway, what are we doing now? We are waiting for the stainless steel drill. I want to see how this thing works, so I'll just put that away, damn it. Drill. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I am going to place it down and get our wrench. And someone did tell me you could put it in your offhand. And I don't know if this needs to go somewhere, but we're going to place it here. Oh my goodness, that is huge. She said, giggity. So I'm going to actually put this upstairs. I'm going to find a place for it. Where's a good place? Uh, maybe over the water. Oh, we've got a nice area right here for it. Lovely. Right. Uh, how do we do this? I need some building blocks. And I just need to build all the way up. I don't know whereabouts this is going to go. Okay, so we can go down one, two. Okay, let's do that. How boss does that look? <laughs> Love it. Right, I'm going to start building this. Oh, never mind. Ooh, we like insta kill these. That's pretty decent. So hopefully you like that little time lapse. I've done a little bit to spruce it up over here. So a bit of um, black concrete, chiseled black concrete right there. Small chains just to make it like a little bridge. I don't know why I did this. I just did. Um, and, oh, flipping neck. Uh, you need some out... Okay, so in the book, which we don't have access to, I don't believe, at Modern Industrialization this thing. Uh, I've already made that, right? Book. Guide. I still don't think we've got access to this. Oh, we do. Amazing. Sweet. So in here, it does tell us that uh, this thing needs... Tell you what, if we come around the front, can we do a sneak? Right click. There we go. So, uh, but be sure to have at least uh, item input fluid output and energy input hatches. So we've got item input right there, that's the steel one. We've got the fluid output right there, which is also steel. And then we've got the LV energy input hatch. So there we go. Uh, so yeah, I put all of those down. I put a gate on this one. I've set up a dimensional tank right here, which is my like ender tank. And I was making the uh, the stainless steel drill. And I made them. And it took forever. It took so long. So instead what I did was... Oh, it's already done. Wait a minute. Uh, drill. Oh my goodness. 
we've already got it. So instead what I made was the aluminium drills and they're relatively easy to get. I mean they're not the easiest I'd say but they're they're kind of okay to get let's say and yeah I made 64 of them. These ones get us the crude oil and we need crude oil to begin with I think to get some of this stuff. So we can get this. That gets us the light fuel. We mix that with some steam. That gets us the steam cracked light fuel. So that does mean that we need something that produces steam. And it looks like you just put some lava and water together and you get steam and obsidian. So we could do that. Heat exchanger, I, I don't know exactly. Is that a, that is a multi-block. So you might need to do that. That is stainless steel though. That is a lot of stainless steel. Flipping heck. Uh, pressurizer. I'll go away. Go on. There we go. I got the, but what? I got the uh, trophies as well for those. <laughs> anyway, um, I did one other thing whilst like off camera, and that is I set this up right here, which is the centrifuge, and it's got the the latest right there. You know the advanced machine hole. It's got a little uh, ender gate on there as well, and this is producing some lava up here. So this is the same setup we've got over here. Do you remember this? Oh, I did swap it out for a draw because I was like, draw makes more sense at this point instead of a uh, tank like we had before. In fact, we don't actually need. There's a storage bus behind that. We don't actually need that anymore. Might take that off. But what this is doing is the lava is going in. When it reaches a whole bucket of lava, it will get us some chromium ingots. Sorry, nuggets. Chromium nuggets. So you can see it right there. I thought this was just some sort of passive way of us getting chromium ingots over time. I think that made sense to me, so I was like, yeah, sod it, we'll just do that. And this is, like, free, other than the power that this is taking. See, there we go. That's uh, that's going to do that. It's not going to be overclocked because this is not quick enough. The lava's not quick enough right here. I don't know if there's any way of speeding this up. But, oh, well, doesn't matter. Right, now I get to go test out my new drill thingy. And I am going to use the aluminium ones because they take way less time to make than the stainless steel. I think later on we'll make the stainless steel ones because uh, they get you the shale instead, whatever it's called. Shale oil, and this one gets us just crude oil. So I'm going to stick one in, and I want to see what, what happens. Is that is that a thing? Is that how that works? Oh, it's going. Hey, hey. Did it make it? Crude oil. Wood, wood. Nice. Once that's got a bucket of it, I am going to take the bucket out. Perfect. And then I'm going to set up one of my fluid drawers. So one of these down here. So I've already got the uh, the tank set up down here. So I've got a plan. This is actually frequency two. You can see it right here. Change the frequency like that. Anyway, you need to. Uh, that is locked. Okay, I need to unlock that. So, how do I do that? That is... Act functional, and... Take the locking tool, unlock it, stick that in, and then lock it again. And we also need the configuration tool. And I am just going to oh, flip an egg. There you go. So now that's being pulled out of there and put into this drawer. And what I can do is upgrades. It says I've got four upgrades, but whenever I click on it, it only says I've got two. So what I think is happening is you pop back upstairs. Like. It's actually putting the upgrades in something. 
I don't know. I don't know what's happening right there, but anyway, we're going to make two more. And we're going to put those in there as well. Make that like the max. See, it says we've got three, but we've only got one. I'm so confused by that. So weird. Plus, this keeps happening. The spruce drawer doesn't get made. So I have to cancel the recipe. No idea why that's happening, but it is a thing. And then I make it, and it seems fine. Very weird. Anyway, that is going to make us some crude oil. It looks like it stopped, and you know why? I bet you. It's broken. So there we go. Um, I did already capture a drowned. Come here. Thank you. I captured a drowned, and uh, I might put that in my... Uh, what do you call it? My wannabe farm? I don't know, though. Anyway, for now, we're just going to go for the crude oil. And then uh, we do need, like, a stainless steel... Well, we need lots of stainless steel to do the... Uh, Distillation tower. So I might have to build a distillation tower now, which is kind of annoying. Oh, but the good thing is, now we've got the book. Modern industrialization. Okay, it's not going to do it. Where's the book? There it is. What we can do with the book is... We can figure out... Where is it? Uh... Okay, not going to lie, I could not find it, but I think this is it. Uh, gives you one oil processing output, but the tower gives you one per layer. Okay, that works. So what we could do is have a tower with three layers, because oil gives us three things. Is that right? It looks right to me. And then we can use the chemical reactor to split it out. And then we'll uh, we'll have to get steam somehow. I think for today, though, we'll try and get ourselves the distillation tower. And I don't know how it's set up. So we're going to have to probably just do it like this. Like the smallest first. I kind of feel like it's a two by two. You know, like the, the machine we've got for mechanism. Like this one right here. Okay, I managed to find a video online of someone who built it, and they built it like this. They put the little stainless steel pipe thing in the middle, like that, and then the rest goes around just like this. And then that is where the distillation tower goes, right in the middle. So, we know what to do now, at least, which is kind of good. Distillation tower. I do need to make one of these. The only problem is I don't think I've got enough of certain bits. So what I'm doing is I'm force feeding a butt ton of redstone through this. Ten stacks of redstone. So it needs to do this recipe 64 times. So it is going to like overclock or whatever you call it. <laughs> it's going to go quicker because it's going to do it 64 times. It's already got through a decent amount, which is nice. But from this, I have a look. Uh, we've got a chance of getting this neodymium tiny dust. We need that. Now, unfortunately, one way of getting neodymium, so this stuff, is by, yeah, sieving this uh, monazite. And earlier today, mon oh, okay, that's not how you spell it. There you go. Earlier today, I got enough. I went mining again. Um, someone mentions, uh, if I pop all the way down, there you go. Someone mentions that if you put the hammer mode on, 7x7, seven seven, and you also want to put not on shapeless, but on small tunnel. There it is. So if we put this on small tunnel and we come, I don't know, down here somewhere. Let's do it right there. There you go. Only problem is it doesn't do the old, uh, what do you call it? Uh, where it sends it to the, to the bank 
if you know what I mean. Yeah, it doesn't do that, it just chucks on the ground. Which is fine, it doesn't, oh, what's it called, this thing. Drops teleporter, doesn't do that. Okay, that time it did. I'm so confused. <laughs> it didn't do it a second ago, did it? There you go, see? Oh, look at that. Right, there we go. We've got most of the ore right there. So what I'm going to do is, because we've now got some levels, we didn't do this last time, did we? Because, damn it, didn't mean to do that. Did you just right-click it on there? Nope. How do I get it? the heck is that thing? Toggle cosmetics. Interesting. How do I put this on here? Shift. Right click. No. Right click just puts it on as well. Damn it. Must be a way of doing this. Also, they added artifacts. I talked about this in the last episode. And Ars Nouveau is now in the pack. There's loads of updates that have happened since. Although, saying that, how the heck do you get this in? Control, click? I'm very confused. Alt, click. What did the uh, did, Okay, it doesn't, doesn't seem to want to go in the table anymore. I thought it was crouch, right click, but maybe that's changed anyway. Ah, I wanted to try and level that up. Now, oh, well, right. So we have to wait for this to complete. So we've got like a few more, a few more of these to go around. It takes ten redstone every time. We're going to get a load of ruby dust out of that as well. I did look into ways of turning ruby dust into rubies, and then from that we could get ruby bees, and then we could get. Ruby combs, we could turn the ruby combs back into rubies and then, you know, get ourselves crushed ruby dust. And we could use that later on to make ourselves chromium crushed. I don't know. Anyway, for now, just got to wait for this, I guess. Right, I am not going to lie. I've had to record this like five times because I made a mistake. And that is, I was trying to get, what is it? It was this stuff polyethylene. I was trying to get this a bit quicker and to do that I was going to use crude oil and I was going to put it through the distillery but I can't figure out how to get like the different recipes from the distillery. So for example crude oil, let's say I want to get sulfuric naphtha. How? How do I do it? Because there's no button or anything in the distillery unless I'm blind but I don't know where you click it to tell it to go onto a different recipe. Left clicked to extract fluid output. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, what was going on right there. So um, basically that means that if I wanted to get, what was it? It was ethylene? Yeah. So I wanted to do this recipe right here. Steam crack naphtha and then you put it through and then you get yourself some of the ethylene that way and I was like oh perfect that's how we should do it and then I was like okay well we need to use the light fuel and then it, basically we ended up with uh acetylene this stuff because that's the first one in the list when you come to do steam cracked light fuel um another thing that I've discovered just now uh that was in I, I'm gonna delete those clips but uh, yeah, this doesn't work. If you were to use a storage controller and uh, a storage bus with the drawers, the fluid drawers, it just doesn't work right now. Doesn't like it, which is very annoying because I, I tried to use some of the oil and I couldn't because I couldn't get to it because of this. I did put some of the steam we've got, so you'll remember these right here. So I took one of those. In fact, I'll take this one too. I'm going to plonk this in with the other steam. Just like that. And there we go. So we've got two, no, sorry, five, one, two buckets worth. Um, I am using storage buses on the side right there. So that means I do have access to those. I removed my, um, my storage bus for the lava though. So I don't have lava anymore <laughs> in my system. 
It's kind of annoying. Another thing I did was I added more dripstone over here. Did I even mention that I did this? I don't remember now, but I made a centrifuge with uh, some lava in it. I thought this would get the overclocking thing. As in, it would, you know, if we did 64 of it, it would be, like, much quicker. But it's not the case. Like, over here, this is, like, going to be four times as quick when, once it gets up there. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I tried to make the distillation tower. And I'm getting there when it comes to the, the clean... Uh, what is it? Stainless steel? So I'm making stainless steel right now. There's a lot of it right there. And this is currently making us some more stainless steel. There you go. So you can see it. I don't know where it's going in. Is that the item input? Yeah. Okay, there it is. So, yeah. We just got to basically wait now for a very, very long time for this to be done. The main main problem I've got is the fact that it needs to do this, the sugar solution, 186 more times just to get all of the ethanol we need. And this is only going to get us a distillation tower with like three outputs. So the only thing that has three outputs is the shale oil, the crude oil. So we do want to go a bit higher. I kind of want to get like the steam crap, the, the naphtha, I want to get this going at some point. Naphtha you can get obviously from sulfuric naphtha, which you can get from shale oil, and you can also get it from crude oil. So that's one way to do it. We're going to just do oil to begin with, I think. And then we'll get some shale oil later on, I'm guessing. But yeah, can you um, enchant these these drills? I don't think so. I think they're just consumables, right? There's a 2% chance that it gets consumed and you get four buckets of shale oil per, which is pretty good. Anyway, I've been using these ones and I've got like a, a really good amount of crude oil right now. But yeah, right. What are we doing now? We have to uh, basically just leave this, let this do its thing and then we'll come back later. This, this has taken ages. I already had this run in for like a ridiculous amount of time. So I'm not exactly sure what else we do. I should probably go do something else. I might go and have a nap. I'm not feeling the best, am I? So maybe a nap is a good idea. <laughs> uh, okay, well, we've got 175 more sugar solutions to go through. And then... Uh, that should be enough right there to get us the distillation tower, uh, the machine frames and the, the pipes and everything. I do want to just point out that I had to remove from the assembler all of the gates. So it's like the AND gate and the OR gate and stuff like that because uh, they were getting stuck. I think one of them has like, it, it was like doing an extra or gate instead of an and gate and yeah so if I do gates okay we've used them all up now but it was doing like a, a not gate instead of I'll tell you what I'll show you if I do this so that's the recipe in the assembler whereas the recipe for this is that so what it was doing it was just making a not gate and it was leaving all of the rest of the stuff in the assembler and that broke everything so I was like you know what we're not using the assembler for that anymore we're just going to use it in the system because we don't win anything by using the uh, assembler it's not like um, we get four times the amount of stuff out of it at the end right so anyway I think next episode because I might have to call it here because I'm proper flagging right now next episode we're going to get ourselves maybe a couple of distillation towers I think when we got one I might have to get the one that gets us, which one is it? This one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we might need five, which is this one. So we need another little bit. Oh my God. Yeah, the amount of stainless steel that you need is insane. But yeah, another little bit of stainless steel and another little bit of the steel pipe. I might have to do that. I think that's probably a good idea, if I'm honest. 
We'll get this one done and we'll use the light fuel. We'll get some ethylene out of it straight away. Pump that into some drawers. Might have to use loads of storage buses for now if we want to do that, but I think that's fine. And then we can use the ethylene to make ourselves some polyethylene. And uh, you get more if you use some chromium. So, yeah, we should maybe look into amping our chromium production up. But I think this is literally the only way to do it. It's kind of a pain. Anyway, this is where I'm going to call it. So, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.